I want to just take this moment and begin to share with you what God began to speak to me in prayer. I'm going to read it because he was so deliberate in the things that he was speaking. I believe that if you could catch what he's proclaiming in this hour, he's going to shift something in the United States of America. And he is going to cause our voice to be heard once again. He's going to cause the light to shine. And he is going to begin to deal with the situations that are taking place abroad in the earth. So in my time of prayer, I heard the spirit of God say, tell my people, do not pet the serpent. This is not the sit down moment. Rather, arise, America, arise. I will pull down every idol before you, for I have placed a two-edged sword in your hand. Use it to cut the head of the enemy off, for I will destroy the works of darkness in the earth and let my word be in your mouth, for I will be with you. Even as I was with David, you will see your giants fall. As they fall, says the Lord, it is your season to rise up and pursue the gates and take the land. In this hour, the adversary has grown arrogant. He has been laughing and making mockery, not knowing his demise is at hand. The Lord says, America, rise up, speak truth, do not hold back. For in this hour, I will have the last say. I will have the last laugh. The very thing that has made mockery of my people and my kingdom, I will pull down. Listen, O oh, you nations, and give attention with your ear for I will rise up the ones that the enemy thinks is defeated because of sin those that have made mistakes those who believe they have been disqualified because of their past but no says the Lord a greater covenant has been established and I will raise up the disqualified those that have made a mistake the least likely I will take those who have felt overlooked passed by rejected and I will raise them up and place victory in their hand for I qualify the disqualified I hear the Spirit of God saying it is the hour to pray for radical salvation in the earth America 2025 will be your Jubilee year a year of the Lord's favor a year of liberation an appointed time of your transformation the atmosphere is being stirred even now and I will look upon you says the Lord where the enemy has cast shadows in darkness the Lord says hear my word enemy do not rejoice over my people though America seems to be in a dark time I will rise up unto them and be a light once again America I will give you a voice and you will destroy the arrogancy of the enemy and you will bring about a glory that cannot be stopped for I've set it in motion and it will be accomplished says the Lord I don't know about you but there is a reason why God wants us to come into a time where we don't just clap our hands but we shout unto the Lord with songs of victory, songs of joy. This is the hour in which God wants to do something in America and the first thing he said is it's not the hour to pet the serpent. When we begin to look at the word serpent, this is what it means. The word serpent in Hebrew is nakash. When you break it down into its word form, it has three pictures. Nun, chet, shin these three words are speak of power the word none is the word for seed chet means to fence or to wall off the word shin means to destroy or consume when we study the serpent from the true hebrew meaning it's a word that means or describes the purpose of the enemy is to fence humanity that it might destroy it by causing disconnection and separation from god and those who love him through deception we know that the enemy was a cunning and deceitful uh, creature being and I'm here to tell you today that God is saying don't play with these things for I put a sword in your hand a two-edged sword that you might what you might execute God's vengeance that you might release God's power presence he is going to qualify the disqualified I am here to tell you if you've been the one that felt like God are you ever going to use me the answer is yes have you felt like the one that always says man I'm skipped by I'm looked over I'm the 
rejected. I'm the forsaken. I'm the forgotten. I want to remind you of a simple truth. When Jesus walked down the Sea of Galilee, he came across four men. And these men were fishermen. These men were men working trades. The reason why they had trades, it's because they were disqualified from Torah school. These were men that didn't make it to the next level. And when Jesus, the Son of God, comes walking along the shoreline and he calls out to them and he says, I will make you fishers of men. When Jesus begins to declare to the disciples, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. These 10 words became words that radically changed and transformed their lives. They dropped their nets. They left their boats. Even others left their fathers. Why? Because the disqualified were just qualified to become something greater. I'm here to tell you today that God looks upon those that the world and the system of religion disqualifies. And he simply begins to put his hand upon them and makes them mighty. God makes the weak strong. God takes those that are lesser and makes them greater. God has a way of transforming the lives of a people. I believe in this hour, this is the season where God is going to destroy the works of darkness. He is going to begin to remove the things that have come to make mockery of the nations once again. His word is going to go forth in might and power. He is going to raise up a people and bring about a greater covenant. This is the hour of transformation. As I began to worship the Lord, he began to simply tell me, he said, if America will rise up and take a stand, if we would hold our crown we would have the voice and the influence that is that has always been upon us we will begin to pull down strongholds and begin to bring change into the economy when God began to speak to me about the arrogancies of the enemy he began to remind me of a woman that you all probably heard of by the name of Celine Dion about in 2018, she came out with a new clothing line. She walks in a commercial through a baby ward where there is male and female babies. And what does she do? She takes some dark dust, demonic dust. And what does she do? She begins to sprinkle and blow upon it. And suddenly, all of the children had no gender. They were all wearing a garment that promoted witchcraft. In that very hour, she began to walk around with this arrogancy. She suddenly suddenly recognize the cops come to arrest her and she gets taken down but she looks up like she's innocent I'm here to tell you that that was a very form of witchcraft that happened in 2018 but today we see that there is something happening in her life she has lost her singing voice she is no longer on the forefront we see that her husband passed away with cancer why because that in which makes mockery of God's generation that in which mocks the things of God what does God do he pulls them down. I am simply not here to say that she's a wicked woman but I am here to say America we need to begin to pray to pull down this form of witchcraft this type of idolatry but we also need to pray the prayer of salvation that a woman like her who has influence throughout the world would be radically saved and that she would use the platform not for evil but for righteousness to bring about change. This is why the Lord is saying America rise up speak out in truth and do not hold back for this is the hour where I will have the last say I will have the last laugh at the very thing that has made mockery of my people and my kingdom I will pull it down see it is time that we give a listen to what the heavens are proclaiming it's time that we give an ear over to what the enemy uh, to the things of God to pull down the works of the enemy see the covenant of God is greater than the and the, of the things of this earth the Bible says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world I believe if God is gonna make an announcement over 20 and 25 like he just did he's gonna announce the greater things 2025 when you study the number 25 it's the number that symbolizes blessing it's this it's the sign of Jubilee it's a year of breakthrough this is why the Lord saying it's going to be a year of liberation it's gonna be a season of divine favor it's the appointed time for your transformation